Chapter 30. Then make a small altar out of acacia wood for burning incense. It must be 18 inches square and 3 feet high, with horns at the corners carved from the same piece of wood as the altar. Overlay the top sides and horns of the altar with pure gold, and run a gold molding around the entire altar. Beneath the molding, on opposite sides of the altar, attach two gold rings to support the carrying poles. The poles are to be made of acacia wood and overlaid with gold. Place the incense altar just outside the inner curtain opposite the ark's cover, the place of atonement, that rests on the ark of the covenant. I will meet with you there. Every morning when Aaron trims the lamps, he must burn fragrant incense on the altar. And each evening when he tends to the lamps, he must again burn incense in the Lord's presence. This must be done from generation to generation. Do not offer any unholy incense on this altar or any burnt offerings, grain offerings, or drink offerings. Once a year, Aaron must purify the altar by placing on its horns the blood from the offering made for the atonement of sin. This will be a regular annual event from generation to generation, for this is the Lord's supremely holy altar. And the Lord said to Moses, Whenever you take a census of the people of Israel, each man who is counted must pay a ransom for himself to the Lord. Then there will be no plagues among the people as you count them. His payment to the Lord will be one-fifth of an ounce of silver. All who have reached their twentieth birthday must give this offering to the Lord. When this offering is given to the Lord to make atonement for yourselves, the rich must not give more and the poor must not give less. Use this money for the care of the tabernacle. It will bring you, the Israelites, to the Lord's attention, and it will make atonement for your lives. And the Lord said to Moses, Make a large bronze wash basin with a bronze pedestal. Put it between the tabernacle and the altar and fill it with water. Aaron and his sons will wash their hands and feet there, before they go into the tabernacle to appear before the Lord and before they approach the altar to burn offerings to the Lord. They must always wash before ministering in these ways or they will die. This is a permanent law for Aaron and his descendants to be kept from generation to generation. And the Lord said to Moses, Collect choice spices, twelve and a half pounds of pure myrrh, six and a quarter pounds each of cinnamon and of sweet cane, Twelve and a half pounds of cassia and one gallon of olive oil. Blend these ingredients into a holy anointing oil. Use this scented oil to anoint the tabernacle, the Ark of the Covenant, the table and all its utensils, the lampstand and all its accessories, the incense altar, the altar of burnt offering with all its utensils, and the large wash basin with its pedestal. Sanctify them to make them entirely holy. After this, whatever touches them will become holy. Use this oil also to anoint Aaron and his sons, sanctifying them so they can minister before me as priests. And say to the people of Israel, This will always be my holy anointing oil. It must never be poured on the body of an ordinary person, and you must never make any of it for yourselves. It is holy, and you must treat it as holy. Anyone who blends scented oil like it, or puts any of it on someone who is not a priest, will be cut off from the community. These were the Lord's instructions to Moses concerning the incense. Gather sweet spices, resin, droplets, mollusk scent, galbanum, and pure frankincense, weighing out the same amounts of each. Using the usual techniques of the incense maker, refine it to produce a pure and holy incense. Beat some of it very fine and put some of it in front of the Ark of the Covenant, where I will meet with you in the tabernacle. This incense is most holy. Never make this incense for yourselves. It is reserved for the Lord, and you must treat it as holy. Those who make it for their own enjoyment will be cut off from the community.